Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Maya, if you're new here. I'm a 24 year old living in the metro Atlanta area and I share pieces of my Romans 828 life here on the internet. I know that it's been a minute since y'all seen my face and we're gonna be getting into it today in this little chit chat, get ready with me. I'll be sharing updates where I've been, what's been going on, and also sharing what you guys can expect from me moving forward, so. I don't want to talk too much let's go ahead and get into it i'm a little nervous i got my notes here on my phone because i wanted to make sure that i hit my points but we just gonna do this we're just gonna act like we on facetime and we're gonna get into it i also do need to hurry up a little bit because it's overcast today and it's 4 30 and y'all know the sun be going down quick so by the time this video is finished it's probably gonna be a little darker just to let you guys know i apologize i don't know if anybody else can relate but i swear when i start getting ready Especially if I'm in a rush, I will forget my whole routine. Like, I'll be like, what do I do? What's the next, what's the first step? I'm gonna clip my hair back with these little clips that I think are from Target. If they're not from Target, then they're from Amazon. Oh, that looks really crazy, actually. Let's not do that. But hey, y'all, it's been a minute. It's been three months, to be exact. I pray that you guys have been well. It was not, like, my intention to just go, like, MIA, you know, I'm so grateful for my YouTube community. So like, I don't want to just like, I don't know, leave you guys high and dry, but life be life and sometimes y'all and life has been lifing, but me and Kalia be saying this life be lifing, but God be God. With that being said, the first kind of update that I want to get into is spiritual. I kind of broke this up to help me hit all my points. If this is your first time ever seeing my face, I am a believer, I am a Christian, but I will say, I feel like in 2023, I kind of started to fall off in my relationship with the Lord. Like I just wasn't as consistent with him, you know, which isn't fair to him. And I am a firm believer that like, if I'm not right here, as in, if I'm not right with God, I'm not gonna be right here. Like I'm not gonna be right in any other area of my life. So that's part of the reason that I've been gone is because I just kind of, I was just going through that. And um, I don't wanna be like fake for the internet. I don't know, I think I'm just kind of the type of person where if I'm like struggling in a certain area of my life, I don't want to just kind of, I don't want to be creating just to create because me not being right with the Lord also affects my content because at the end of the day, he is the creator. And so everything that I put out is inspired by God. Like, so if I'm not right with him, it's like my content ain't going to be right either. Like nothing's going to be right. So during this time away, I've really just been like focusing on him and being very intentional about pursuing him first this year i started intentionally spending 30 minutes with jesus every morning and i mean before like i would man i know y'all can hear those cars i'm so sorry before i mean like i would spend time with the lord in the morning i would do my devotionals in the morning but it would just be a quick little one too you know kind of like just to check it off and say that i did it whereas now i'm more like okay no let me intentionally soak in the lord and in the word and i'm gonna be honest i ain't did it every morning this year okay i'm going to be honest but i've been consistent i will say that overall i have been consistent and very proud of myself it's just been a joy just making my first priority or making the main thing the main thing and for me the main thing is the lord so if i don't have that right y'all ain't gonna see me <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. If I ain't right with God, y'all just ain't gonna see me. And I do wanna get better about like being consistent on my platforms um, and at least kind of, even if I'm not showing up, I want to kind of even bring you guys along that journey. Like looking back, I could have at least put up a post on my community tab and be like, hey y'all, I'm gonna take some time back, you know? So in 2024, I do want to get better about that. I do want to be consistent this year and that is my goal to be more consistent. However, I also have to prioritize him. So yeah, during this time away, I've also needed to seek the Lord um, just for some direction in my content and in my platforms. I always want to give God glory in everything that I do, including my content. So yeah, I just kind of needed to take time back and really seek him and um, at, like get direction on that and ask him like, okay, God, how 
how do you want me to steward these platforms and to give you the glory while doing that and I also want to do it in a way that's authentic for me and where I am because I don't know I don't want to I don't want to do something just because like a group of people are doing it you know like for me to really glorify God in my platforms I have to show up as myself you know like that's how he gets the glory is me being me not me trying to be like someone else or me trying to be what I think other people want me to be like I have to be who he wants me to be you know and I have to do what he wants me to do so yeah I just kind of needed some direction on that and I definitely feel like I've gotten it and I just have to like walk it out now you know like to really see like okay Lord is this it is this it and if not then like okay let's pivot 2024 is going to be like a pretty hard year for me and not in a bad way but just the things that I'm believing the Lord for this year require me to make sure that I'm keeping him the main thing, like I said. And so to do all things, all the things that he wants me to do this year, like I gotta be on top of it. Like I have to be spending time with the Lord. I have to be obedient. I have to be hearing from him. I have to be seeking him. Yeah, like I said, spiritually, I'm definitely doing better. And I'm excited to be creating again because me creating is giving glory to God. Just that right there is giving glory to God. The only reason that I can create is because of him, because he is a creator, you know? Like, I get my inspiration from the Lord, for real. I don't know if any of that makes sense. I'm literally just kind of like talking. I pray that it makes sense to somebody. I pray that maybe somebody can relate and that, that bless somebody. I don't know. We're just gonna walk it out this year and we just gonna create and see what the Lord does from that. This kind of will go into like my next topic a little bit as far as like professional life, like career, work, all that good stuff. But I feel like part of the reason that I'm like, I just have to do it this year, I just have to create is because I believe that I'm really in a push season right now. The Lord told me that a few months ago, almost maybe like a year ago, maybe even over a year ago. But um, he told me to get ready to push and I feel like I'm in that season right now where I'm pushing. And what I mean by that is, I believe I'll share it with y'all here on YouTube, but I started working at my church in September of 2023. I'm the social media coordinator at my church and working in ministry, hold on, let me find my brush. Yeah, working in ministry is challenging to say the least. I mean, I'm grateful. I always say, Lord, thank you for allowing me to serve you through serving your people. So I'm grateful for it, of course, but it's hard work. And especially like when I first started the job, it really was like, it was difficult. Like that transition was really hard going from my previous job to my church. So that's also partially like why I was going because my job requires a lot out of me, like creatively. And so I just felt like I didn't have anything left for my personal platforms. Working at my church is still difficult and it still requires a lot of me, but I just feel like I'm in a season where God is requiring a lot out of me. And so it's just like, I mean, you just gotta, you just gotta give in this season. You just gotta push, you gotta give it all that you have. Like when a woman is going into labor and pushing, she gives all that she has. And I feel like I just gotta give all that I have right now. So yeah, it's just like, here I am giving it my all, showing up. And I believe that, I don't know, God is going to bring something beautiful out of this and I will reap the fruits of my later, my later. I will reap the fruits of my labor in due season. Right now I'm letting my concealer sit because that's what I like to do. Just like to let it thicken up a bit. Speaking of like work and professional things, outside of working full time at my job, I also started a business in 2023. It's called 828 Social. It's a boutique social media agency. Check out my Instagram page because I have like a little testimony on how all that came together because definitely all got because baby I never want to be an entrepreneur. Shout out to him for real because if it weren't for him I wouldn't be doing this. But God is, is very good because I've seen a lot of I've just seen his grace on my business. That's the best way I could say. I've really seen his grace on my business. And so this year I actually started, well, I started working with my biggest client so far. I'm not gonna, I don't, I'm not gonna share who right now. Maybe I will later. It's, I mean, it's not a who, it's like an entity, an organization, but 
um, that has been a blessing. I'm so grateful and I started working with them I think January either 8th or 9th but so far I've loved it yeah that's just been a blessing I'm just so grateful because like I said I never wanted to be an entrepreneur I never saw myself doing this but God did God knew what he had in store for me and so I just appreciate him so much because you know he saw beyond what I could see he saw more things for myself than I saw. I do want to talk about like mentally, emotionally, how am I doing as well. I actually started going to counseling. Um, I had my first counseling session in December. Yeah, I had my first counseling session in December and counseling slash therapy was something I've done before but a really long time ago really long time ago. Either 2022 or 2023 I kind of felt like the Lord kind of prompting me to do it again um and you know honestly shout out to my boyfriend because he my boyfriend so shout out to him you know my to my man thank you to my man but he also definitely like encouraged me to start that journey and um i'm getting like emotional um yeah i'm just very grateful because i have trauma like most of us do <laughs> and so i don't want to like live out of that like I don't want to like my trauma responses and stuff you know I don't want to like have those responses you know like I just want to be healthy like overall I want to be healthy spiritually emotionally mentally um of course like one day I want to have a family and so when I have my children like I want to my parents were great parents I did all that they could of course you know but I want to be better parents to my children than my parents were to me. Yeah, taking that step was like so scary, y'all. I was so scared. Literally a few days, I believe it was spiritual time, I'm gonna be honest, but because a few days before I had my first counseling session, I was like, I'm gonna cancel, I'm not doing this. Like I was so anxious and I had the first session with my counselor and it was so good. Like she made me, she was very encouraging and affirming and not like that's what my love languages is words of affirmation so during our session she was very encouraging and affirming and we talked about some good stuff just in that first session she's a christian and that was like number one for me i needed somebody that was a christian you know i needed somebody with that perspective so yeah that's also a part of me being in a pushing season that's what this whole thing is i'm in a pushing season because even that like going to counseling is not easy you know and like it requires me to be uncomfortable because I have to grow. So yes, I don't know if you've been considering like going to counseling or therapy, I would 100% recommend. Um, and also too, like that was a question I had for my counselor during our first session. I told her, I was like, I don't know if I need counseling or therapy or like what I really need, but she broke them down and explained the difference to the two. And I appreciate her because we actually, we do counseling and therapy. Shout out to all the counselors and the therapists. Like, I'm just, oh my gosh. Why y'all ain't tell me I didn't put on primer? I just realized that my primer is sitting here looking at me like, I cannot believe I didn't put on primer, y'all. This didn't I tell y'all? I literally started off this video saying that sometimes I get ready and I forget my actual process, my actual routine. Oh well. But yeah, mentally and emotionally, I think I'm doing pretty good. And I'm just excited to, you know, continue to grow and to mature in those areas. Now, the last little thing that I want to kind of talk about, I think, in this video is my content like i said earlier i was really like seeking the lord i'm like okay what do i do what do i what should i do like honestly y'all i was kind of in a place where i was like for a little bit i was like i'm not gonna do this no more i'm not gonna create content like i'm not doing this because i didn't know what to do and i'm excited to share that i'm gonna start creating bookish content Okay, I'm joining booktube. I'm so excited. My grandfather taught me how to read y'all when I was like three or four years old. And it's always been a love of mine. Like elementary school, middle school, high school, all I used to do was read. I literally had a huge bookshelf in my room because I loved to read. Now when I got to college, baby, I stopped reading because I was a political science major. And so I was reading like 300 pages a week for class. So it's just like, who the heck wants to read for fun when you have to literally read for work? Like, I'm not doing that. I, I maybe read two books for leisure throughout them whole four years. 
um, and then in 2022 I was like you know what I'm gonna start getting back into reading because at my previous job some of the ladies like some of my co-workers had a book club so we used to like read books and talk about it and like that's super cute super fun you know last year I only read six or seven books and this year my goal is to read 20 books and so far I've read three I think yeah I've read three books this year um, I'm currently reading Rules of Engagement by Stacey Abrams and I'm on page 124. I'm like 36% done according to Goodreads. So yeah, that's something that you guys can be looking forward to from me this year is book content. Just me sharing like what I'm reading, my thoughts, you know, all the things. Y'all gonna see the content cause it's coming real soon, okay? I forgot to go back in and reapply my blush because I'm a blush girl. A little blush so we can do that i'm excited to kind of like grow my book community on here i love reading and so i just want to share that love with you all and um yeah i'm excited for this new journey this new thing that the lord is doing lol which happy new year because i haven't seen you guys since last year <laughs> but it's it's january 27th so like girl it's gonna be february but it is a new year and god is doing a new thing um and i'm excited to just see what he's doing in my life and y'all's lives and everybody's life because God just God been showing out not just in my life but in like also in the lives of like so many around me and it's just a beautiful thing to see so last step is setting spray this is the Morphe continuing setting mist when I tell y'all I love this setting spray so much oh I have my water bottle open when I spray that so I'm not gonna be drinking this <laughs> It's definitely gotten darker. I told y'all it's gonna get a little dark. It ain't too bad, but definitely has gotten darker. Like I said, I don't know if this video made any sense at all, but I hope that it did. I hope that it blessed somebody in some way. This was my first sit down video. So, you know, I was a little nervous. I also have not filmed in three months. So bear with me as I get back used to being on this camera. But with my book content coming, I will be doing more sit down videos and you guys can just look forward to more content from me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for rocking with me, for supporting me through my hiatuses. Um, but we're back and we're better in 2024. And I'm so excited to just be on this journey with y'all and just sharing my life with you guys. So yeah, I'll see y'all later.